Guys, have you tried multiple credit repair companies and you're still not getting the results that everyone seems to be getting but you? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain the truth about credit repair. I'm going to explain the dark side and I'm going to explain the light side of it. And I'm going to explain basically as a whole why credit repair is not working anymore and why it's basically dead. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I create the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, I'm super, super excited because I have a bigger. Today's video, we're going to talk about why credit repair is potentially dead. But before we get into that video, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience, and also allows YouTube to push this within the algorithm a little further, and allows us to leave the lights on, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. If you have anything to rock in your credit report i mean anything negative charge offs late payments bankruptcies medical bills guys you name it please go over to mycreditapprove.com it's the website and the software that i was telling up telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands guys people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves they are no longer using credit repair companies that are putting this information in this experience into their own hands and appreciating on a deeper level guys please go to mycreditapprove.com check out the software and start removing these items guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report now let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video guys in today's video i'm super excited because i've been wanting to make a video about this topic for a very long time because a lot of people have a misunderstanding when it comes to credit repair and why it is not working so let's dive straight in so why credit repair is not working any longer guys the credit repair industry has changed dramatically over the last five years i've been doing credit repair for almost 10 years now from when i first started no one was really doing it but now after so many people have became wealthy or have became successful they decided that it's a very easy business to start in the bit very easy business to process to get to make a lot of money so a lot of people start doing credit repair what does that do that really just makes the value of the product goes down when a whole bunch of people just become oversaturated in one industry and that's what happened a lot of people began to gamble because they are basically being suckered in with good marketing and they just is basically being gambled into buying the product and then once they buy the product behind closed doors there is not any lengthy amount of consumer law that's knowledgeable behind the person that's doing it they might just send out a template the template might not work or get responded to and now that put you in a position where you're not getting results and you're not actually you're wasting time and money and you just wasting the experience as a whole guys the best way to fix your credit in 2023 is to do it yourself hiring a professional you are gambling to say the very least and there is no determining factor if you're going to get results even if you do it yourself credit repair is not 100 guaranteed if someone tell you 100 guaranteed they are scamming you or potentially wanting to scam you because first of all they cannot determine who's going to answer your dispute most of credit repair letters don't even get responded to or get acknowledged so a lot of people are in the credit repair space they might send out your letters but if they're not getting responded to or know how to actually handle that situation then they're just sending out letters they're not getting responded to you're wasting your money and time and basically they're being projected as a scam because they don't know how to solve the issue of the credit bureaus actually responding that's why you can't promise you can't promise any results in credit repair because you are not the person that's responsible for them responding the CFPB did a article on the um, credit bureaus and determined they only respond to like 25% of the letters they receive the reason why they say that they done that is because they was getting a whole bunch of templates and the templates was disingenuous so they felt like it was no need to respond to um, the dispute or the investigation as a whole and that just put you in the same situation we just talked about so guys credit repair is a situation where it needs to be done right to be successful and even if you do it successful and don't do it right, 
you still not in a promised position for success because you don't make a determination of who's going to answer your credit reports. These are not government businesses. The credit bureaus are public companies, which is basically like McDonald's. Like they just are regular companies. And a lot of most of the time, the regular companies, if they don't have any regulation or compliance that they have to follow, then they're not going to do everything necessary on all ends of the playing field. So guys, credit repair as a whole, if you do not know the consumer law, if you are not like inside of the industry, learning different hacks, learning different strategies, yeah, it's a continual thing. It's like stocks, guys. You have to be in it a long term. You can't just be in it just to make the money with the marketing. You have to put yourself in everyone involved, which is your clients if you are a credit repair company to for, for success. And that is learning the consumer laws and applying it. Most people do not know the consumer laws. They are just, you know, ingurgitating some information or, you know, some jargon that they heard on, on a podcast and they basically applying templates toward your experience. That's why I sell people to go to my credit approve my software because guys, I projected this. I've been in the credit repair space for so long that when I created this software, I knew that people are going to have to do it themselves. There was not going to be, and, and the time still haven't came, but it's coming, that where you're going to have to do it yourself. These companies are going to make so many mistakes that they're going to regulate the whole industry and majority of people are not going to be able to go to most companies or any companies. It might shut the whole industry down. So you're going to have to put yourself in a position to do it yourself. That's why I say go over to mycreditapproved.com. We have all of the letters, everything that the credit repair company have that you have. And if you're following me on my channel, we have more than enough strategies for you to use the software and the strategies together to do it yourself cheaper and more efficiently. So guys, let me know in the comment section how you feel about this. Do you feel like credit repair is dead? Do you think that is not? How is your experience in credit repair? Have you had gotten um, good results or do you think that every time or have your results been not so good? Let me know in the comment section because I really want to know where are we at in this current state of credit repair. Until next time, guys, take care of yourself and take care of your credit coach. You